there's not general exercises for the spine that are just going to make the spine go away, uh, spine uh, discomfort go away. But in addition, y you ever notice that in, in, in the experts as well, they always just fall to the, to the natural history, which we never do anywhere else. That's right. We yeah, never we, do that anywhere. We, yeah. we never come in, never, someone doesn't come in with shoulder pain and knee pain. We go, ah, we don't have to do much because it's going to go away in four to six weeks. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. But yeah. we do that in the spine. Yes. The problem is, is that they come back the next year and we do the same thing. Yes. Yes. You know, what you know what I'm saying? And we brought this point up earlier for, the, for a foot problem. Okay, so if you have a so, knee. So don't do anything for the spine because it'll just go away. Yeah, yeah. Because the problem the, is, is the that. The spine is, it's, it's, it's sensitive. And, and the but it'll, spine... But it will somehow figure it out. Figure it out. But the shoulder yeah. won't and the, think, and the knee won't. I think the <laughs> spine, maybe it's in the nomenclature of how we think of things. The spine is not a real thing. Right. The shoulder is a real thing. The sternoclavicular joint is a real thing. But the spine is like saying the upper extremity. Totally. It's like saying, what do I... Do? That's a very good point. I actually. have an upper extremity injury. What's the best thing to do for upper extremities? And, yeah, then, and then you go, okay, well, let's put 50 pre people in a f fucking ultrasound mm -hmm. and see if it works. And then it doesn't work. And then you would look at that and you would go, well, that's a terrible study. Yeah. Because the, it, it's not pursing out the specificity of what the problem is. Right. It's so, so true. Same with the knee. If you give me a knee, I'm going to want to know the biology that has pathology. I'm going to want to know the, the capacities that might have led to the inability for that biology to resist injury. Yeah. And then I'm going to specifically put in inputs so that I can change the capacity of the biology such that the next time, blah, 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 different. But if you come to me with plantar fasciitis, I might just stick you in, a, in an orthotic and say, you know, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that seems to be the, 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 the management of the spine as well. Yeah, that's so true. I never, I, yeah. I never thought about that. We did, but it was just, the, but that's right. That, like if you look at professional sports, they always say Joe has an upper extremity injury because they don't want to tell you specifically what's wrong. Sure, we're doing that in spine management. Hundred percent. Yeah. The only difference is we're not just telling our opponents so that we don't. We're we're telling a, a phys, uh, you know, the the next physical therapist I'm referring this guy to. By the way, this guy has a spine problem. Get at it. <laughs> yeah. So that that cannot be, that can't be the case. But again. The, the way that you frame something, it, it's going to, it, over 20, 30 years, it's going to shape the way that you frame your management of that something. We talked about the spine. We talked about that homunculus idea. How about we talk about the damage being done by people who are approaching it generically? Let's talk about neutral spine, right? What is neutral spine? Neutral spine in the spot, let's say that we take neutral spine and we start to explain it in the shoulder. If I were to say, keep your shoulder in a neutral position all the time, you know, center it wherever you want it and then just kind of leave it there. And then as you move, just kind of that whole shoulder comes with it. Okay, so yeah, you might prevent more acute pain in that shoulder, but you're trading the acute pain for chronic problems because you're not moving your shoulder. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel that about the spine specifically, that if you get people to walk around, you know, if you get people to walk around in a, in a neutral position all the time and you bend up this way, you play hockey that way, you sit down very carefully so that you don't come out of neutral spine, you might prevent another acute incidence of spinal pain, but you are going to trade it up for the fact that just you're not... Just creating a fragile system. You're, you're just creating a fragile system. So... And then that system needs to be braced and that system needs to be cared for. And then it becomes, in order to maintain this neutral, nothing's going to hurt me again, just get strong, bro. Like, you can't go wrong with getting strong. So mm -hmm. just start getting a strong core. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going off, I might be going off topic, but if you disagree with me if you'd like, but when I get a spine that has a problem, the number one problem I see is that the biology and the neurology are no longer in good communication with each other. Sure. Agreed. S such that if I were to tell you that your, your brain doesn't really have uh, governance over its rotator cuff at all, like, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it has access to the supraspinatus, but it doesn't have a hundred percent access because you had that tear and now a significant portion of what used to be contractile tissue is now, now con not contractile tissue you would say that that's going to throw a wrench in what I'm doing because now I have to 
reverse some kind of biological process in order to make it usable. But again, not in the spine. So you get someone, we know the history of multifidus. We, we've talked about this before. You have someone with some low back pain problem. There is going to be changes in the way the body calls upon the multifidus, how it's used. We know these changes. Mm -hmm. But All defined in the literature. Well defined in the literature, which we're going to define the shit out of in this course. But if you look at management, it's, you know, crack, don't crack, exercise, make things stronger. How can you make something stronger when the nervous system forgot that it's actually there? Yeah. Yeah, you can't. 